Jay Sarasidlo reporting from the 2011 Belleville National Strawberry Festival and I'm being joined by the festival director Joan Bodner. How are you today? Very good. Busy at the moment. So can you first give me some highlights of this year's festival? Of course. First let's give you our hours. We're open today Friday from 4 until 10, tomorrow Saturday 10 to 10 and Sunday noon to 10. We once again have the Travel Channel's Man vs. Food Challenge here. We have Oscar Mayer here. Um, we have the Pistons Hoop Truck, lots of food, strawberry treats, vendors, and inflatables. Okay. Now, how will it be different from last year? Uh, basically, we have more crafters this year, more diverse crafters, and we have a lot more vendors than we had in the past. Okay. Now, the weather seems great today for the first day. Are you concerned at all about Saturday and Sunday? We're optimistic this year, no rain. Has the economy affected the festival at all? Um, possibly in the attendance, but not in the sponsors or the, ven ven uh, the vendors. We're completely sold out this year. In terms of the entertainment, what's being offered? There is entertainment being offered at St. Anthony's Catholic Church, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and at 4th Street Square, compliments of the Bayou Grill all weekend also. Now in terms of the strawberries, uh, where are they located? Uh, strawberries can be purchased at the Masonic uh, Lodge on um, High Street and Belleville Road, also at St. Anthony's Catholic Church, and I believe Trinity may have some also. Okay. I noticed that Wendy's and Applebee's are sponsors. How are they being involved? Uh, Wendy's is a uh, cash sponsor. Applebee's is an in-kind sponsor. They provide the food for my hospitality room. Okay. Now, I heard there was a possibility of an ice skating rink, but that's a no-go? There was a possibility, but we weren't able to accommodate them with a location for it. Okay. And so it was canceled at the last minute. Any other remarks while we're still here? No, just everyone come on out and enjoy the sunshine and have a very good day at the festival. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Jason. Again. Now you got a art booth out here at the Belleville Strawberry Festival, so what are you selling first of all? Um, I make wood yard art. Everything's made out of plywood and then I paint it and seal it. It looks very colorful over here. How long does it take to make them? Oh, one piece would probably take me about two, three hours. I've been working a while. <laughs> and so this is your first time at the Belleville Fair? Yep, first time here. So uh, what are the prices of everything that you got? Um, they range anywhere from $10 to $40, anything in between. <laughs> now, how many art fairs have you done in the past other than here? Um, I just got started doing this in November, and I think this is my sixth show. This is my first major outdoor three-day show. <laughs> and let's talk about where you're going to be after here, possibly Ann Arbor or other ones. Uh, I'll be at the Farmington Founders Festival, and then after that, the Allen Park Street Fair. So, uh, any other comments about the festival? No, I'm just hoping for good weather and good turnout. <laughs> now you got a booth over here at the Belleville Strawberry Festival so what are you selling this year uh, paintings oil paintings and we have some soy candles so is this your first time having a booth here at this one yes we've been doing it for about three years but this is our first time here they have all different sized pieces here so how long does it take to make some of them uh, it depends. Now, my wood pieces, it takes a little while longer because they are kiln dried and they have to be treated. And my paintings and my saws, they're a little bit different. My husband sandblasts all the saws and we treat those. But the paintings, it takes me a day or so to do a painting. Now, at your booth, what are the price range here? What's the price range? All my canvas paintings are $30. My Hand saws run anywhere from 18 to 28 dollars. My wood pieces average is around 40, 35, 40. And after this festival is over, where are we going to be seeing you next? Wasseyan, Ohio. 
at the um, oh, the Thrashers convention. That's why I have so many tractors and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I cater to the farming people. That's our where we're from. And let's see, any other comments about the Strawberry Festival? I'm just excited about it. I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm excited to be here. The Belleville National Strawberry Festival runs through Father's Day on Sunday, reporting along Main Street. Jason Rosidlo for AmericaJR.com.